G'day guys, a um, bit of a unexpected trip today. Um, I was actually going to be coming out here, but it was only going to be for a little hour run. But what I've done is got up bright and early and uh, got out to uh, Reedy Creek. I've got the uh, high banker just set up behind me here. And um, I'm going to work a little area. I'm also trying out the expanded mesh that I did some time ago. Um, in a video, got the dream mat there on the bottom. I'll probably spin this around and give you a better look. Okay, so what I've got down here is a um, little six inch gold rat high banker, expanded mesh. There's uh, some miners moss and then some V mat underneath that. And just at the bottom, I've got the uh, mini cell dream mat running me. Uh, 1100 gallon pumps just in a bucket there to keep a bit of the crap out of them with two spray bars haven't uh, run any dirt as yet and surprisingly um, I'm all alone today there's um, not a soul I haven't seen anyone camping um, and haven't seen anyone down here so uh, all by myself. Advantage of the high banker, I suppose, is you can set them up pretty much anywhere as long as your hose is long enough. I better keep it fairly short because um, I'm running bilge pumps. If I was running a petrol pump, I could, you know, be uh, 30, 40 metres away from the creek and sucking water up. But um, I work this little area just in here and uh, see what happens. All right, guys, um, done about a 30-odd um, shovel run. Let's give you a look at uh, what's going on. So, green mats, pretty full of heavies. Um, and the expanded mesh there, as you can see with the moss, has got um, a few gravels in there. And then at, right at the top, I've got... Um, the little Bunnings mat that I use. So I'll just rip that out. And I've got a pan over here. Give it a bit of a shake in there. Not all the gravel comes out of this um, stuff with the backing. But once it dries off, the other little bits. I actually haven't had any gold get stuck in there. I suppose the gold hasn't been big enough to uh, get caught like some of the rocks. But um, for me, it works pretty good. I'll just turn this pump on for a second. Just to, because uh, as you can see, there's quite a few gravels just under there. Just wash this out. It. and uh, throw this uh, bit of mat up there again alright um, I didn't actually test pan this morning I um, I did look a long long time ago I think it was uh, meet up number 9 when we got quite a few people out here and there's 10 or 11 of us and um I did some tests around here at the end of the day. Doesn't look like it's been dug too much, so and I'm not digging tailings, I'm digging fresh ground. Um, we'll see what happens. As normal for uh, down this way. Um, the black sands, um, or the black sand, I should say. They're not sands. Um, get tons of the stuff yeah I'm, I'm saying gold already like I don't tend to um, take this stuff down too much down at the creek because I got rid of these lights I 
You don't tend to take them down too much down here, only because um, the black sand here is um, pretty much tin based. So, alright. Now, I'm hoping you're going to see that. The gold here is fine. I'll uh, see if I can zoom in on that a bit. I'm going to have to do it with my screen. The gimbal disconnects from the phone every so often. So, there we go. I'll zoom it in like that. You'll see uh, the gold. Now, just remember, this is just in the top indicator. I'm uh, hoping there'll be um, some more. Because it does tend to travel down here. Um, as I said, just due to the sand. Or the black sand. Um, I'll probably be able to even see some down here at the dream mat. Maybe. Yeah, I can't really spot any there. But those cells are fairly chockers. Um, and I've got that expanded mesh there with the moss. This is just something I'm uh, trying really for the first time at the creek. I will uh, try a couple other mats up there as well. And we'll see uh, how they all perform. I'll keep digging and um, hopefully showing you some more colour soon. Alright guys, um, just got uh, probably done another 30 odd shovel run, turn this uh, pump off again. I've uh, got a um, another pan. Because I haven't even bothered to uh, take uh, the gold out of that last pan. And we will see what comes out of this one. Pretty good. I will just turn this thing on again, flush everything out, put that's underneath the uh, moss. Yay! That pretty much gets rid of most of the stuff that's under there. A few little bits and pieces. Um, not really seeing anything in um, in the dream matters yet. Might be all getting caught up there. Uh, hopefully, it's not all getting caught in um, this top mat. But we'll see. Uh, what I've done this time is um, dug a bit of a different layer. I sort of started down low first, and. Um, started digging down and now I'm more just digging a top layer and while I've been digging that top layer what I've found is there's just this one section that's got a lot larger gravels and I mean gravels not rocks gravels um, So that's the section I'm going to try next and just see if there's uh, any gold there. Take this down and have a look. Now I don't, like what I've been digging at the moment is overburden. Um, okay. So... Not as much as the first um, 30 odd shovels, but 
but as I said, this is overburden. So you can see a few little specks there. There's still probably, you know, a fair few there. It's not like there's no gold. Um, but, surprise, surprise, just over here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Uh, the gimbal wants to play. Nice little bit there. So, um, the overburden doesn't mean um, that you just throw it away. I, I like to dig it. Um, you get little surprises like that. That's my best bit of gold for, um, for today in the overburden. So, I'm going to now dig this uh, layer with the gravels. Should be able to see here as well um, from my tailings. I haven't really dug a lot. They're the only tailings I've got for the day. You can see a little bit of grass and stuff just in here. Now, before people say, oh, you're digging the bank, you're not allowed to dig the bank. Um, oh. The bank, the bank's over here. Okay? The bank is pretty much over there. So if this is the bank, um, no, nowhere near it. Nowhere near it at all. Um, when this is, uh, water's up a bit higher, water's running through here. You know, I could have easily gone in there and like, you know, you can see um, the banks out that way. And if I take that around, oh, just so it follows me. Up over there, you can see the bank probably runs up there, closer to where my car is. And and then continues on, you know, all through over there. You should be able to see where the bank is. Um, so yeah, I'm not digging no bank. I'm uh, yeah, miles away from it. But what I will show you is uh, what I'm talking about. So over here, this is the layer that I sort of dug just up here. You see, it's just topsoil pretty much. But in this section should be able to see those gravels. It's a lot tighter packed there, and there's a lot more of these larger little river-worn gravels. So um, we're over here, you'll see it's, they're pretty sandy and small. Um, could be a nice little pocket. I'll dig that out and um, do another 30 shovel run as normal and um, see what happens. Alright guys, um, chains mats over, look what we got here, I'd call that the original dream mat, there's the mini, and right there is the original cell mat, um, I know in development there was a larger one and all that sort of stuff, but this is uh, the dream mat that uh, pretty much everyone uses on the larger sort of um, high bankers, like the 8, the 10 and the 12. I actually like how this mat performed at home. Captures um, pretty much about the same amount of cons as the mini mat. It just um, clears and the cells um, just keep all the gold and the heavies. And the bigger rocks that do get through that punch plate um, clear out really well. I'll give this a run and uh, see how we go. Alright guys, um, what I've decided to do this time is just work one half of the area that I've been digging. Um, I will probably run maybe two buckets with the bait pump, screen them 
lobby for home. Um, I'll do one more run with a different mat here. I'll just show you the gold that I've got. Once again, this is just the um, miner's moss. I've just quickly done it. Um, you know, I'm uh, just going as quick as I can. I've got all my cons in that pan there. Um, I'll show you the, uh, the cells of this other mat and compare the two. Now, obviously, um, when you turn the water off, the material tends to just drop out of the cells a little bit. But you can see how much um, is in those cells. You can see how much is in these. When this starts flowing, uh, I don't think I've shown you running, but I'll turn her on and you'll see. Once the uh, water starts coming down, the cells are clear and they're more like you're seeing with your river sluice. Nice clear cells, that means they're active. I can see them moving around and just so that it does look like there's a lot of gravels in this bottom one. Yeah, come on. But they're all dancing. They are all dancing there, so um, those cells are active, they're not chockers with stuff. I just like the way that looks, having a clear mat, the cells have caught the heavies and hold them, and um, personally, I'd love to see a mat maybe with, in between these two, but in the style of the original green map. Maybe just having four cells rather than the three. Just make them just that tad smaller so you can fit four cells across six inches. Um, and I reckon that'd be almost the perfect map for one of these where you could probably tend to pump a bit more water through the mat and you just have a beautiful clear mat like that. Drop the angle a bit as well. Um, today I'm just running at 11 degrees. Well, the wind has gone a bit nuts. But um, I'm going to take the dream mat out up the top, change over to another mat just for a bit of fun and um, fill a couple of buckets up for me daughter. And uh, Head on home. All right, guys. Um, pull the large cell dream mat out. Probably the shortest run that I did of uh, the mats. A little bit of colour there. Not a great deal, but still, there's probably about 40 bits of gold there. Um, last mat. Come and show you this last mat. Um, doesn't matter, I haven't used too much. It's um, a riffle mat. Has a few different types of riffles in there. There's some V, there's some Hungarian riffles, there's um, some U-shaped riffles. Uh, super tight fit. Yeah, something else, someone's been asking me to do this, um, so I thought I will, just a little voltmeter, I'll, uh, I'll clip that on to here, alright, let's play games. Right. Put that onto there and clip this one onto the battery. And you'll see how many volts I've got there. So it's flashing there at uh, 11.2. I don't know what the 11.2 means. I'll take this pump off. 
and we'll see what happens. So 12.1, 12.2 volts, and then when I'm running, I'm down to 11.2, 11.1, which probably means, uh, there we go, let's see I'm going down more. Probably means that um, my battery's probably too low and I should change it, but I'm not going to. Um, I'll uh, just leave that on there running and um, just do my little final run with this mat and then hopefully there's some gold in that uh, bottom mat too. Haven't pulled that out for the whole day. So I've just left that in and uh, I'll uh, collect some cons and um, well, I'll actually, what I'll do is I'm going to bait pump up there, take a bucket or two of those home, and then I'm going to go to another little spot, and I'm just going to blindly dig some uh, gravel, and then run that at another day. Um, but I'll end up tacking it onto this video. All right, last quick little run, and um, pack up and go home. All right, guys, um, just to uh, finish off this last bit of dirt. So what I ended up doing is bait pumping half a uh, bucket of um, gravel at the bottom of my hole. And that's me uh, line dig. It's actually all dry. So what I've done is uh, just set up my high banker, two dream mats, 2,000 litre, or 2,000 litre, 2,000 gallon pump, and I'm just going to run out of one of the spray bars. Just going to feed it in slowly and uh, get rid of this. Thought the uh, daughter was going to come out and finish this off, but um, she's a bit too tired, and um, rather than having buckets of crap lying around the house, I'm just going to run them out. All right, we'll see what happens. I'll do um, the dry first, and then I'll... Um, finish off with uh, the stuff I yabby pumped. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Alright guys, this is um, the gold from the Blind Surprise. So a few little bits there. Um, I only cleaned out the top mat, didn't bother cleaning the bottom one. Um, I'll do a clean up with both mats once I uh, run the last bit there which is half a bucket of uh, yabby pumped gravels well we'll see what happens alright guys there we go that's the uh, gold from uh, the stuff I bait pumped so it's always worth after a dig to bait pump where you've been digging you never know what's going to drop off the shovel and fall down and as you disturb the ground something drops in. Um, fortunately didn't get too many gems today. That's why I was actually out to really get more than the gold. Um, I was hoping to get a few more gems. But it hasn't occurred. So I might have to plan a trip out somewhere like Dalesford and uh, see if we can get some gems just trying to get all this stuff so that I can put in my pan of cons I think that's it um, hope you have enjoyed my little video probably end up being pretty long um, gonna throw in some uh, drone footage and another video that a few things went wrong I didn't have um, a SIM card in my drone, so I didn't record um, some footage. And then I tried some underwater camera action with a little camera I've got that turned out like rubbish. And um, didn't really finish off the video. Um, I was at uh, Slady Creek with um, JB Prospecting Victoria. Uh, I had a great day, went to a few locations, 
couldn't even film the second location we went to. Um, just uh, probably got carried away having too much fun. Um, so I'll tack that onto this as well. He's going to have a look. Um, and until the next time, I'll um, see you all later.
Good day guys, uh, down at uh, Slaty Creek this morning, gonna have a little crack down here for um, a little while and then uh, possibly move to another location later on in the day. Got um, JB Prospecting Victoria coming down, I think I heard a car door so um, seeing as I'm in the gully it all echoes down here. So he should be making his way down here pretty soon. I'm going to uh, fire up the high banker and uh, see if we can get a bit of colour. Alright guys, i um, been digging for about an hour. Um, getting onto some colour and just throwing everything into this uh, bucket. Just pulling out me a little bit of minus moss. Now, coming across some interesting sort of ground. Just here you should be able to see this is uh, clay. The good thing about this clay, this chock is full of gravels. So I'll just wash this down a little bit. And see as I'm washing it down, hopefully there's not too much of this. See some of it's some of it's pretty thick but should be able to see there, I've still got gravels. Still got gravels in there, even though I've washed it down a fair bit. I have still got gravels stuck in that um, clay. So, I think there's uh, going to be some nice colour coming out of this spot. We'll see what happens. Alright guys, um... Just been digging this area here. Probably um, going about a shovel, shovel and a half down. Getting colour all the way through this section. What I'm going to do now is uh, dig down another shovel or so. Get down to some uh, different ground and see uh, if it improves or not. Uh, JB Prospecting's uh, come in and he's just down here running a river sluice, working the inside bend there, getting uh, a few little bits. We'll have a look a bit later and see uh, how he's done. So yeah, I'll, I'll be uh, working this. Just uh, running a little banker. I actually haven't pulled the uh, dream mat out as of yet. I've just been pulling that out and just in this bucket are the cons. The cons and the gold. Alright, back soon. Alright guys, um still digging this little spot. I've uh, dug some of this has been just the top layer, about a shovel and a half. Decided to sink down a little bit deeper. And what I'm going to do now is just get a bait pump. For those guys who don't know what a bait pump or a yabby pump is. Um, especially the guys in the States that uh, may be watching. It's uh, pretty much just to uh, suck out the gravels off the bottom. A lot of people don't use them. Um, hopefully I'll be demonstrating uh, just how much gold you could be potentially leaving behind by uh, not using one of these. So I'll um, do a bucket, I'll just tip it into my high banker and I'll um, take the uh, top little miners moss mat that I've got um, out and that should catch most of the gold. Not, I'm seeing a little tiny little bit of gold in there, but um, not a uh, great deal in the mat itself. It's full of black sand and it's a black mat, so it's a bit hard. But I do see some little specks in the top cells, maybe about the top three layers. Maybe, yeah, it looks about right. Um, yeah, I'll uh, back pump some of this and uh, see what happens. 